An icon in Oklahoma City's public school system is no longer with us. Thelma Parks died early this morning at the age of 96. Our News 9's Jesse Mitchell has more on the legacy she leaves behind, and that goes beyond the school that is her namesake. That's right, Thelma Reese Parks was one of the first black teachers to integrate schools here in Oklahoma City. And she kept fighting for equality for the rest of her life. I know you have suffered with me, but I'm free at last. Thank God I'm free at last. Throughout the civil rights movement, Thelma Parks was fighting on the education front, teaching for more than 30 years, then serving as a school board member for more than 20. Without it, we run the risk of not being successful and not being profitable to the society or the world in general. And she understood that at an early age. NAACP President Garland Pruitt says Parks continued that cause through into old age, even getting involved in the Pathway to Greatness talks by attending board meetings last year. Still supporting, encouraging, and pumping up and juicing up and gearing up folks to try to make a difference. Parks' family tells me her battle ended after a brief illness. Her namesake elementary school, which broke ground in 1995, survived consolidation and is now a testament to a spirit that lives on. She was feisty and engaged uh, really until the end. I mean, just a few months ago, she was calling me with suggestions about education in Oklahoma City. Mayor David Holt tells us he had Parks' support and she had his ear. He wants to ensure leaders like her are not forgotten. Every time we lose one, we want to uh, make sure that we as a city really mourn that loss. She was an icon. In addition to being an icon, she was an activist. She understood a long time ago that teaching and education was a thing that we all needed. And Parks' family tells me her memorial service is happening next Wednesday at Fairview Baptist Church at 11 a.m. All are welcome to pay their respects. Jesse Mitchell, Oklahoma Zone News 9.